What's going on guys, Matt here from Become Elite, and today I have five essential crossing drills for my wingers, outside mids, and fullbacks. So let's get into it. So as you soon will see, all of these drills can be done completely by yourself. You 100% can definitely use a partner if you do have someone that can be on the receiving end of the crosses, but I just wanna show you that you do not need a partner. The first drill we have is called stationary crosses. And this is a very good drill to do right after your preliminary warm up to really start to get used to that crossing action and really prepare yourself for this, these drills. All you will do is place the ball right on the six yard box, take a few steps back, more at an angle than a normal power shot, and then just work on getting that perfect contact and whipping in a ball right into the center of the net. It's just a good way to build into the session. The main thing about this drill is I like to work on consistency. Consistent run up, consistent strike, consistent action on the ball, consistent placement into the net. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Now if you're looking for a video on how to actually cross the ball, I have a really great tutorial about this, so I'll put this up in the little icon on the right top side of the screen, wherever it is. Click that if you really wanna know how to cross. I like to get five really good crosses on the six yard box before I move back. And then I do the same exact thing on the penalty spot and the 18 yard box. After this point, I've done 15 really good crosses. I'm feeling really warmed up and I'm feeling more confident to take my crosses back and back and back to the realistic length so I can really hit them hard and into the goal. Now, for the rest of these drills, you can actually do this two ways. You can either do it in the center of the field where the goal is just the normal distance and pretend like you're crossing the ball into the center of the field and just use your imagination count off the steps to the sideline and then count the steps back so you have a realistic distance of how you'll be crossing the ball or you can turn the goal sideways step out to the sideline and work on whipping the balls out from the sideline either way is perfectly fine so after that little warm-up exercise I like to really get into it so like I said this is called the stationary cross I've counted out my steps to the sideline counted out my steps directly in front of the goal so now I'm at the appropriate distance close to the sideline and I'm whipping in these stationary crosses this is about 30 to 40 yards away from the goal depending on how big your field really is yes it is stationary it's not hundred percent realistic but you can imagine this is a free kick over by the side of the field a corner kick or just working on the right actions the right run up everything about a cross for this drill as well as the rest of the four essential drills I like to go until I hit five to ten perfect crosses that are up to my standard the second drill is called the roll to cross you will simply just move a few steps back into the side from where you normally would cross the ball place your sole on the top of the ball roll it a few yards out in front of you approach the ball like you would a normal rolling ball in the game and whip in that same cross with that same action to the same spot in the goal this is a very good transition from an easier stationary ball to something a little bit more realistic where it's rolling and moving now the third drill is just a variation of that last drill this is just a roll to cross variation. In a game, you'll notice that you can't do that same cross every single time, depending on where the defenders are, where you are on the field, and where your own players and teammates are, you have to vary your cross to meet that different situation. So for this drill, I'll roll the ball and work on different styles of striking the ball, such as a back post chip, where I try to get a little bit underneath the ball and hit it more towards the imaginary back post of the field. Or I might do a lace ground ball where I'm working on just lacing the ball on the ground with tons of pace so my attacker, all he has to do is just stick out a foot and tap it in the goal. Use your imagination to really try to hit these different passes for different situations in the game. Because when these situations arise in the game, you'll feel confident enough to do the right cross for the right situation. The fourth thrill is called the move to cross. You'll start even farther back, but this time face more into the center of the field. So it's almost at a 45 degree angle aiming at that near post. Place either a couple cones or in my case two shoes on the ground to act as a dummy defender. Take a few dribbles at the cone and right before you get there perform a move. After you perform the move you will push the ball directly down towards the end line like you've just beaten the defender and now are creating some space. Try to take just a few steps before hitting that perfect cross again into the goal. This drill just works to make this action a little bit more game realistic and gets you to work on that combination or that transition from a move to a cross seamlessly. Finally the last drill I'm going to show you is is just the cut back to cross. Many times in the game after you've beaten your defender down the line and whipped in a few crosses, he will expect that and be ready for you to try to go down the sideline again. This time you will go down the sideline, fake like you're gonna cross the ball, 
cut it back. I like to do a Cruyff turn as I feel it's a very natural and realistic cut. Tap it back to my left foot and then hit a very good whipping ball with my left foot again with that same exact action on the ball. This is crucial to work on because if you can cross the ball in accurately and consistently with both feet, you're gonna be a lot more trouble to that defender. So that's five essential crossing drills I really think you should master and I really think you should work on. And you will notice that these are very simple. There's not much to these drills, but that's how I really think players should train focusing on the fundamentals with simple yet very effective drills. And since you guys like improving skills, I want to introduce the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. You guys like that segue? If you guys have watched my previous videos, you guys know that I'm a huge fan of Skillshare and their product. If you guys do not know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands and thousands of classes in areas ranging from video editing to business to graphic design, etc. And premium membership gives you unlimited access to all of these high quality classes from experts in their respective fields. So you can work to improve your skills, improve your business, and just take everything to the next level. I owe 99 percent of my become elite channel my business everything to online tutorial videos I literally learned everything about video editing and video creation from online tutorials like the DIY cinematography class or the Premiere Pro metric color correction guide you can find these classes and so many more that are just as helpful on Skillshare Skillshare is also ridiculously affordable. For just $10 a month, you get unlimited access to all of these classes. I would really hope that if you guys are serious about starting a business or learning a new skill, that you are willing to invest $10 into improving yourself. So if you guys are interested in checking out Skillshare, click the link in my description because the first 500 people to do so will receive a free two month free trial. A free two month free trial. A free, a, a two month free trial. So a big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, so that has been five essential crossing drills for all of you. Go outside today, tomorrow, or sometime this week and try to implement some of these drills in your training sessions. Lastly, if you guys like this video, if you guys are liking the content, the five essential drills, my vlogs, anything, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you wanna see more videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next video. I right, peace.